This is the new Kyle Army. The track itself is finished, though work still continues on the new pit complex and other aspects of this world-class motorsport facility. The major changes to the circuit layout take place at the end of the start-finish straight, which now has a much faster kink before some heavy braking into a tight left-hander. From this new turn, there is a slight downhill run into a right-left kink that climbs up to the entry onto the back straight. Thanks to an invite from Kyle Army and Ducati, Don and I were granted the very special privilege of being the first riders to put in a few laps. With Don on the new 959 Panigale and me on the 1299S because, well, he's quicker than me, we can show you what a lap of the track looks like. Speeds will be higher than ever at the end of the main straight and braking will be heavier too because instead of a sweeper, the next turn is really rather tight. As soon as you're back on the throttle, it's time to flick right and then left before lining yourself up for the familiar drive onto the back straight. The circuit is still very dusty because of the continued construction, so you'll have to forgive my fear factor in not leaning on the front end too much, which is my excuse for missing just about every apex on this 4.5 kilometer circuit. Anyone who's ever done a lap of Kyle Army will recognize what's happening now, because although the corner names may have changed, this is very much the same layout as it always was, except that now it is incredibly smooth something that is particularly noticeable through the S's and up to the old West Bank, now known as Luakol. Blasting down the mine shaft is the same as always, though a redesigned bowl, now called Crocodiles, gives us a wider entry and more chance for overtaking. From here, there is a very slight kink to the left before the fast right-hander into the final turn, Ingwe. From here, it's simply a matter of mashing the throttle once again for the blast down the start-finish straight, which is now nearly 900 metres long. So, tell me, you were on the 1299? I was on the 1299, yeah. And you were on the... 959, yes. And you still couldn't catch him? I was filming him, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, I couldn't. That, that's always his excuse, even when he doesn't have a camera. Well, listen, Donovan's got the creep sheet. There are some amazing figures, aren't there? I mean, let's talk about the cost of the circuit in the first place. Yeah. Now, this track was bought by Toby Fenter. He's the same guy that owns Porsche South Africa and Ducati South Africa. Hence, we're on Ducatis. Now, at an auction, he paid 205 million rand, plus the transfer fees, and then he dumped another 250 million rand on the circuit. Just, so to, overall, just to make one new corner? Oh, that was a bit more than that, yeah. <laughs> um, so basically, it's more than half a, half a billion rand spent on this track. It's set to, do we know if it's set to hold any international races? Uh, not yet. Uh, I can tell you, though, that the first ever event that's going to be hosted at this new track when it's completely finished is going to be the South African Bike Festival. So it is a motorcycling event that's going to be the first event at this track. And the South African great. Bike Festival, in case you don't know, that's basically what used to be called the old Ahmed Expo, isn't it? Yeah. So we didn't have a show last year, but this year it's coming back in force. And I think part of the attraction is going to be that if you pitch up to go to the, to the show, you'll be able to ride the track. Yeah, they you? do have a whole lot of demo bikes. You can sign up, you can ride around this. You will be one of the first people in the country to ride around the brand new Kyle Army. That's at the end of May. At the end of May? Okay, so what do we think, Don, having ridden it? Is it going to make for better overtaking? Are we going to see more action there? Well, one of the great parts is right here. You're coming down the straight. Now, previously, there was a bit of a sharpish kink, and then it's immediately a left-hand sweep, which didn't really make for good overtaking. Now you go through that kink, it's, it's broader and it's slightly straighter, 
you keep the throttle open for maybe three or four seconds longer, and then you're into actually a hairpin bend over there. And so, look, even when yeah. we rode it, the track was very, very dusty indeed. We, you know, the traction control was kicking in, so we couldn't get the drive onto the straight, and we had to brake a bit early, um, but we were still hitting nearly 280 k's an hour. Well, it was around straight. 280. I reckon a full-on race bike with a <clears throat> more athletic rider will probably get close to... <laughs> more than both of you. <laughs> Steady yeah, on. You're not in the first flush of youth, are you? Yeah, no, yeah. thanks. But I reckon they're going to get close to 300 kilometers per hour down there, and then they're going to have to go hard on the anchors for that hairpin. I think. What do you think of the new little twiddly bit then that's after that? So it's a hard left and then a sort of kink right and left. And... Now, I'm not normally a fan of slow corners, and so what they did is they took out a fast corner, which I like, and put a slow corner. But I've got to say, it kind of works. It does, I mean, doesn't it? And it kind of works with the flow of the land and all of that. It's been really properly thought out. Some of the curves are quite high. So when you're on a bike and you're leaning close to it, I can see a few people coming off, clipping the curves until they learn that they can't get quite so close to them. Yeah, that's true. And I mean, especially on this one, that little kink called Cheetah. It's a little bit raised. It's to try and keep the cars from cutting across there and digging a ditch on the inside. But then again, you've got to tracks like SWAT Corps and the, you know, the curves also raised. So yeah, hopefully we won't lose too many knees. <laughs> yes, well, hopefully we're also going to get MotoGP back and we'll see you back. I hope Toby Venter is watching. Brilliant track, well done. You've probably not got any cash left. Shame about that, but bring us some international racing.